What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE Elite figure review for you guys and today it is the Elite Series 58 Dean Ambrose and Mickey James. Before we get into the review, guys, if you would like to pick either of these figures up, you can do so at WrestlingFigures.com. Go over there, Ringside Collectibles, greatest place in the world to buy your WWE action figures. Use that promo code MDTOYS, you will save yourself 10%. But now that we've squared that away, let's get into the review. Alright guys, getting straight into things, we have Dean Ambrose over here with his Intercontinental Championship and Mickey James over here with her Women's Championship. And flipping these guys around, I have some interesting things to cover right here. You have read-ups. If you'd like to read Mickey James, you can pause it now. But I want to take a look at Dean Ambrose's right here. Things got unhinged when the Lunatic Fringe defended his Intercontinental Championship against the Miz at Extreme Rules. I'm pretty freaking sure that this match at Extreme Rules was a stipulation where if Dean Ambrose got disqualified, he lost his championship. So you would think it'd be the total opposite of Extreme Rules. I remember thinking that when that match happened. I was like, this is totally ridiculous. It's supposed to be Extreme Rules, and it's not even... I don't even care, guys. Let's get into things. <laughs> And here we have Dean Ambrose and Mickey James out of their packaging with their accessories. And I think out of all the figures in the set, guys, I think both of these have the best accessories. We get championship gold. That's what I love to see. I guess you could include Matt Hardy. Um, because of the Raw Tag Team title, but I picked these specifically because, you know, the White Intercontinental Championship, a modern one, isn't very, you know, popular these days. They're hard to come by. You know, we did just get it in the battle pack with the Miz and Dean Ambrose from Target, and then the Women's Championship right here is also pretty rare. I think the only way you can get it is with Trish Stratus from, like, Elite 20 or something like that. So it's pretty cool to see both of these figures released with those respective championships. But now what we're going to do is take a closer look at their accessories. Then we'll cover Mickey and then we'll cover Dean to cover the video. So let's get into it. So getting straight into it, guys, the first accessory we have right here is the WWE Women's Championship looking very great right here. You know, this is the championship that the women had when I was growing up watching wrestling, and it's a very unique take. You know, there's never been a women's championship quite like this, so it's very awesome to see this in figure form. This is the first time I'm ever getting this, so I'm going to pose it with Lita most likely. Love this championship. And we have the white strap intercontinental title right here, and it is looking fantastic as well. I love the gold sheen. I love the white strap. You know, it is um, the modern-day Intercontinental Championship as well, and it just looks so classic. Um, and look at that little flake right there. Look at that right there. Added. I guess it's better than a cut, though. I'll cut that off with an X-Acto knife. It's not quite a big deal. Maybe. I'll have to cut that off, though. A little flakage. But yeah, guys, that about does it for the Intercontinental Championship. And then we have Dean Ambrose's cloth shirt. And it's so awesome to see a cloth shirt released because cloth is much better than the rubber that we got with the bar. You know, this just works well. You'll still have articulation. And it's sleeveless. I think this is the first sleeveless shirt that we're getting with Dean Ambrose. So I think it's very late for this now. Um, I'm glad that we, I guess, better late than never. But this is a cool shirt. I like this when it came out. Even though, um, you know, Dean Ambrose doesn't really, like, ref I don't refer to him as unhinged. I don't refer to him as crazy or anything. They need to really take his character and turn it up to 11 or something like that because I think it would do wonders for him. So getting into Mickey James, guys, in the face, I think it is a pretty good head scan. I think it resembles Mickey James pretty good. I think they use that face scan technology on this because the eyes look a bit, like, weird. I don't know. I think I like the basic head scan better than this, but I love the attire. You got the MDT pink and uh, blue coming through here, and I think it looks great with the silver and black all around. I hate the pants, like, for an attire. I think that's really ugly, but the top looks good. Spinning it around, her hair looks nice. All of this stuff looks great, so I'm very glad. I think this is a uh, different body mold than they usually use for the women, so I'm uh, very glad to see that as well. I don't like seeing the same molds reused over and over. 
but going down into the pants you just got blue pants with the pink and black decals and gold and silver all mixed together that all looks good it's all applied nicely no chipping or anything that I can see but I am on the lookout for but yeah this stuff right here like the bell bottoms I think that's what it's called I hate the way that looks like when she wore this to the ring I thought it was awful the the attire that she wore at Elimination Chamber was much better in my opinion but you got some silver pink and everything and I think this is a great Mickey figure it's the first Mickey James figure I have in my collection so I'm very excited to add Mickey James to my woman's roster and since I don't have any Mickey James figures to compare her to here she is up to, next to the official Trash Corbin figure so getting into Dean right here guys we have this head scan that we have seen multiple times now before he has come on multiple basics I think this is the best Dean Ambrose head scan it really captures his likeness very well I like the sculpt I like the beard on there I think it's very very accurate to Dean Ambrose same torso we've gotten multiple times in the past we got the white tank top instead like we saw with the Elite 36 loving the uh, arms we get right here I always love Dean Ambrose arms for some reason I love this skin tone with the white wrist tape it's very good for customs and stuff of that nature um, on to the blue jeans. I think this is a new blue jean color. It's coming out light on camera. Let me see if I can like show you guys what it kind of really looks like if I can get these lights out of here. As you see, it's more of like a navy color. It's like a dark color and it's even coming out more bright on camera. But it's like that JBL type navy blue I think that we saw in his basic. Maybe even a bit more blue. But I love this color. If you have this figure, you know what I'm talking about. This darkish blue looks great. I wish they would use this more often and not that saturated blue that we've seen in the past. But again, love the jean mold, love the shoes. And um, now we're going to get into some comparisons with this Dean Ambrose. <laughs> Psych, first we're going to take a look at what he looks like with his shirt on right here. I love the way this looks. I'm glad that I remembered to do this. I think this looks very nice. With this shirt and this nice jean color, I think it works pretty good. I think it fits very well. Shout out to Lesnar Time on Instagram. He wanted to see this figure reviewed, so I hope that I'm doing a good job, bro. And I hope you are enjoying this figure so far. So here's a shot of every Dean Ambrose jeans figure in my collection. Four different Dean Ambroses, four different torsos, four different jean colors as you can see. Um, I'm loving this jean color. The new jean color and then the Elite 48 are the best in my opinion. I love both of these. This is better for a dark jeans and this is great for light jeans. If you wanted to go with a medium color, this would definitely be the one. I hate this color. This color right here is real saturated and it just looks odd. It doesn't look like real jeans. It looks like, I don't know, like tealish, bluish jean awfulness garbage. So do not, I don't like this. I don't like the torso they use for this. Um, I like the figure. I just hate the parts choice and color choices they went with had this been on this torso this figure would be damn nice but um it's still a decent figure um i'm loving the new elite 58 i guess it's like a trend we get an elite 36 an elite 48 and elite 58 so i guess every 10 to 12 series you can expect they're going to make a dean ambrose i do have more deans but unfortunately they are not uh jeans dean ambrose's i used to have a few but i used them for customs for guys in jeans so uh dean ambrose's are great for guys in jeans if you didn't know so go pick up dean ambrose's but that does it for dean and this comparison and here we have the new elite 58 dean ambrose up next to the official trash corbin but yeah guys, that about does it for both this new Elite Series 58 Dean Ambrose and Mickey James figures. Thank you so much for watching. I do recommend both figures. If you like Mickey James, if you like Dean Ambrose, you gotta grab both of these things. If you're missing an Intercontinental or Women's Championship in your collection, I definitely recommend them both as well. Um, I think both figures are great with articulation. They're great for everything in your collection. They're great for pick fed rosters and official rosters. If you don't have either of these guys, you definitely got to grab them. Again, if you'd like to pick them up, go to Ringside Collectibles. Use the promo code MDTOYS. You will save yourself 10%. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the positive feedback that the video's been getting lately. You guys are the best. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.